Actually, if you want to call my Chinese name, it's okay, but I won't see you or because my parents just call me Wendy and my Chinese name, you, you can forget it. It's, it doesn't matter. It's not the important thing for my life. So yeah, and my topic is YOLO. YOLO means you only live once. Okay. Um, life is a journey. I'm going to talk about this one. This. Okay, I'll, today I'm going to talk, like I have mentioned before, I'm going to talk about a little bit uh, in Mexico, in China, in Canada, and the final, the final ones in Taiwan. Oh, uh, uh, it's like, I like this, for this picture because uh, when I was in Mexico, I was like, my parents uh, protected me too much, and I want to fly. I, I'm, kind of like a little bird, and I want to fly away from my my house. Yeah. Okay, uh, this is Mexico, and there are my friends in Mexico. Uh, I miss them so much. Uh, okay, uh, when I was in Mexico, the studies is like, I don't care. Like, I don't study for nothing. And I always say, I will study, I will start studying, but later, and never, I mean never, study, never, I, I never study for whole my life, never. I mean, just like, for example, it, I think it's kind of, comparing to Asian culture, I think, um, in, in, I mean, in Mexico, study is not that important. I mean, you have a lot of things to learn, not just study. Yeah, like YOLO, you, you only live once. You have to try another thing, not only focus on study. So for me, I don't, I hate study. And at some, I always, the, the day before, like one, one hour before or half half hour before, that time I always pray for the God. And please, that time, please be nice. <laughs> because I never studied, so I always pray for the God, like, oh my God, please help me, give me the answer, or show me the answer, <laughs> I don't know, whatever you want, but I don't want to study anymore, I don't, I hate taste, yeah. So, when I got it, and it's like, that's it, no, I share to God, Mom, F stands for fantastic. Uh, my teacher loved me. That's why he, that teacher gave me the A. Yeah. And I, I love Natalie Portman, and she ha, has said, like, I don't love studying. I hate studying. I like learning. Learning is beautiful. And I think uh, not only on study or on the school, you can learn things. You can learn things uh, from different different types of things. You can go outside and learn more stuff. You can learn more things than the school. The school just give you a classroom and the teacher blah, 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 blah. And you get, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, no way. Or something like that. I just hate study. I, I don't know. I, my goal is happy. I just want to be happy. And study made me sad, so I hate study. Uh, oh, okay, I like to say, whatever you decide to do, make, make sure it makes you happy. I think it's pretty important because, for example, study doesn't make me happy, so I find another thing that makes me happy. For example, getting with my friends. They are my high school friends. I, I think my, in my entire life, I think my high school is the most important thing in my life because my, I love that school because my class not only focus on the school, I mean not only focus on math or Spanish or English, not. I have class that called creativity and that course you, they have, uh, teach you how to resolve problems with creative thinking or entrepreneurs, they have, they give you some materials and you have to 
with your team, you have to create a company or something like that. Not only like things that are pretty boring. Yeah. And next one. Oh, I love this one. Keep calm and party on party every day. I, I was a party animal, but right now I'm not. Because I'm in Taiwan. I, when we were when we were in in nightclub and drinking with my friends and uh, having party we like I think a lot of Latinos they have party everywhere, every day. Every corner you can find a party. And if you don't know who's party, you just get in and drink and you can do whatever you want. You can stay in their house even though you don't you don't know who, who is who is it whose house or whose party whatever. So I think things end but memories last forever. Uh, I think it's over my high school life. It's pretty sad because I love them so much. And now I'm here, uh, we doesn't connect. We don't connect a lot because of the the time, time, uh, time. And so yeah, okay. So I have to move on. And now I'm talking about a little bit when I was in Shanghai. I went to Shanghai for a church student when I was in high school. Uh, I went there because I wanna learn. I wanna learn Chinese. When I was like 10 years old or 11 years old, like in, in elementary school, my parents always talked to me in Chinese, but I always answered them in Spanish. I, in that time, I hate Chinese. I hate it. Because that, for me, Chinese is like, it's weird. How can they speak like that way? Like, the words is, and the the, uh, the when you say it, it's totally different. Especially the every character of the Chinese, every letter is totally different. So I hate it. But I used to speak Taiwanese with my parents. So I speak in my family with like ch children. We speak Spanish uh, and Taiwanese mix. Yeah. And that time, uh, why I chose Shanghai? Because I, when I was in high school, every day I, I saw like my my friends and my parents say, "Oh my God, China is getting bigger and bigger, and you should learn Chinese." And blah blah blah. And I said, "No, no way, nah. nah. Why Chinese? Chinese sucks. I always do that, nah." And so, suddenly, my parents told me, "Why you don't wanna learn Chinese?" If you learn Chinese, you can go everywhere. And what I said, why everywhere? Why? Because and because they told me that uh, because of China, China is getting bigger. And of, of course, I'm from Taiwan, and I should learn Chinese. Uh, so then I said, okay, I will go. Uh, okay, go. And they sent me to China, and I think if no. If not now, it's not now, and when will be? I, there's a not another opportunity, so I decided to go there. And when the first year of school, the the school is so nice. They give us a welcome and a lot of food, and but when I saw the Chinese people, I was like, oh my god. They're all the same, like me. I'm Chinese? No way. Uh, but suddenly, I, one Chinese told me, where are you from? And I said, my parents are, are from Taiwan. And no, you cannot say Taiwan. I was like, oh my god, why I cannot say Taiwan? Because at that time, I don't know nothing about the relationship between Taiwan and China. I, I think it, I, don't, I just don't like it. Because it's about quality. And I think if I go there, you should welcome me. You cannot say, go away, no. 
yeah, but it's okay, I'm Chinese people though. And I put the picture, the right side and the, the I mean the left side and the, the right side, is, I think it's pretty different because Chinese people always study and they study pretty hard and when you walk away and nobody, nobody speaks, like everybody like, oh, oh, okay, like that. But when I was in, in Mexico studying, everybody like, kind of you, if you kind of like you go to the market, like, like lots of, uh, everybody speaks and uh, answering the t question to the teacher, but in Chinese, China is pretty different, yeah. So I think in China I learn a lot. I not just learn Chinese. I learn how to be independent because it's my first time living without my parents. And I think it's a it's a time when I grow up more than I was in Mexico. But I think I I love it actually. I love Shanghai except studying. Because when I was in Shanghai, I always go out. I went to the nightclub with my friends. Nobody studies. Uh, one day before the midterm, everybody like, calling the teacher, please, teacher, don't. I have headache. Can we? Can you change the date, please? Like almost crying, but she not crying. And the teacher, oh, okay, it's okay. We can change it. So, like what? Okay. And the first time. I, I felt like homesick because my as, as I told you before that my I was protected by parents because they think like a lot of people know that like Mexico is a dangerous country but yeah that's why they always protect me like I wanna go there no you cannot I wanna go there no you cannot so yeah but I always go to the nightclub, but I always tell them, I will go, I wanna go to my friend's house, I wanna study, I wanna blah, 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 but actually I went to the nightclub, I, yeah. But I have a lot of memories there. There was in, was, I was in Hangzhou. It's pretty good place. And I think it's pretty nice because I, it's the first time I, I saw the tea trees. Yeah, I haven't seen that before, so I love it. Oh, yeah, do you see the guy, the, his face? It, because we, it's a, like, a, a, it's a full, like, roll, like, pretty fat. It's like this size, that was, you know, and we don't want to eat it. And when we try it, it was sweet. I was like, why is it sweet? He's like, no. So we leave the hold the plates, like with hold the food. And when we leave, and the teacher tell to us, why you don't like it? Because it, for us, like meat is salty, not sweet. But we don't know why it's so sweet there, so we don't like it. And here, I think it was Hangzhou too. I don't remember where is it. Oh, this is Zhou Zhuang. It's near Shanghai. And uh, we went to the Great Wall in Beijing. And it was October, but this feels like, like December. It's so cold. Uh, and we, like, we, we miss a lot Mexican food. And we went to Beijing, and Beijing there's a Mexican restaurant, and we was so excited. So we went there to try, and it was really good because the chef was Mexican. So for me, Shanghai is kind of like a paradise, yeah. Because the first time living with without parents, and the first time I can go everywhere I want, yeah. And then I went to Vancouver after, I mean, before, no, after I graduated, no, before I graduated, yeah. I went to Vancouver for half a year, yeah. 
Uh, I love this bed, like put down the map and get lost. I get wonder wonderfully lost. Because I love traveling, so I when I went to a place, I never never watch the map and I go everywhere and get lost. And they are my friends I, that I'm meeting in Vancouver and they are from different countries. They are Italian, Brazilian, Thailand, from Thailand, and Korea. And actually, three of us are banana, as like I said before. I'm from Mexico, I mean Taiwanese, but Mexican. Mm, the middle one is Argentina, but Taiwanese too. And the third one is Mexican China. So yeah, and we met each other in Vancouver. Okay. I was in Vancouver, 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 Vancouver. And this is my first dinner in Vancouver. And now my life in Taiwan. I thought I will have a lot of crazy friends, uh, like uh, a lot of dessert. Like, I, because when I watch a TV program in Taiwan, there are lots like delicious food, yeah. And our life like party. But back to school, it's like this. Do you see my face? I was like, oh my god, why I'm here? What the fuck are you talking about like that? And I feel like this, like, whole the board is like, writing and writing, and the teacher is, I don't know what she, or I mean, he talking about, I don't know nothing. And at that time, I was like, I think, are you happy? And actually, I wasn't happy. And for the exams, I always said, I can do it, even though, Lots of, a lot of people told me like, that's impossible, just give up, you can do it, blah, 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 but I think I can do it. But when I opened the book, all the things in Chinese, I was like, are you kidding me? I, because I don't understand that, I, I can understand Chinese, but not from the book, yeah. Uh, during the midterm, I was like this, studying and dictionary, studying and dictionary. I study a lot during the midterm week. I never sleep like two hours, two hours per two days or like one hour one day. Yeah, I regret. Yes, I regret a lot. I just wanna go back to my home. But and I think if we could only turn back time, I wanna go to Mexico. I don't wanna live here anymore. I'm not actually. Yeah, until I meet them, my friends, a lot of friends from and every, everywhere. Okay, if now it's your turn, don't forget you only did it once. Okay, thank you.